I'm here to give you guys a purchase update of the Ion Tailgater. And I also did an unboxing of the version, the first version that they came out with before they came out with this particular one. The first one I had died on me. Uh, I drained the battery completely. And for anybody that know about these units, the batteries or this charging system inside these units, uh, kind of don't do a good job once you do drain the battery. So, you know, the manufacturer recommend you send it back to them or something like that. Or some people buy replacement batteries like I did. And that kind of worked for a little while. But with the second version, I didn't test that theory as far as draining the battery completely with this unit. Kind of scared to. Um, almost drained it completely a couple of times. But um, I like, I appreciate the fixes and little tweaks they made with this uh, version of the tailgater. Um, they increased it from, I think it was 12 hours all the way up to 50 hours, which I didn't fully, completely test. You know, one for one to make sure that it's 50 hours. Maybe I should, but you know, it's been, it's, it lasts for a good amount of time before I have to charge it. So, also be getting a lot of feedback from the original video I made of this unit. I appreciate that. And yes, this bad boy is does a good job for, I've used this for little, little house parties here and there. It's not gonna pretty much blast music throughout the whole entire house like make it super loud inside the entire house but whatever room you have this bad boy in trust and believe it's a party you know what i'm saying it's not a big old even if we got a big old giant living room it's a party you know um but anything bigger than that or you're trying to hear the sounds way throughout the whole house blasted ultra loud out the front door and everything it's not gonna quite do that it's like that nice little middle ground it's not low at all by any means but at the same time it's not something that's gonna blow anything out the water like crazy but at the same time it's loud as hell and it got some real good bass cranking it up to the max volume does uh you know introduce a little bit of mud to the bass what i like to do is turn the volume up on a tailgater about 75 percent master volume and then on the phone i control the volume from there all the buttons all the knobs and everything is still super smooth i mentioned that inside the first video how the knobs are real smooth um I did leave this thing out in some light rain for a little bit, which could be the reason why sometimes when I'm pressing the skip, you know, fast forward through the music, you know, back and forth, um, sometimes the LED screen will glitch out and the buttons won't work, you know, when I'm trying to skip through the music. But every once in a while it happened, like the numbers, it shows just nothing but like zeros on a little screen thing and then whatever buttons I press, it just won't work. But the time I did leave it out in some light rain was when I barely had it. And I forgot to bring it in. I had left it outside. This was like a long time ago. I had actually filmed a whole little video, made a whole video out of it and everything. And I did it all right there on camera. I gave commentary, letting people know I left it out in, in some light rain. And here's the first test of, you know, see if it's gonna turn on. And it actually did. And it was working perfectly fine. And it still is working perf perfectly fine. So the only way to test to see if the water did damage it is to completely uh, tear it apart to see if there's some kind of corrosion or anything like that and now with this one I kind of want to do a tear down even though I don't need to at this moment but I want to do one just for the just for YouTube so let me get 50 to 100 likes on this video and I do a, I go ahead and give, give you guys a whole entire tear down of the block rocker or I mean not block rocker but tailgater now the block rocker since we got that in my mouth um pause that is actually what you want if you want something that's going to really blast. If you want something, if you want that little next step, that next little level. For what I use it for, I use this for music videos. That's where I brought it for mainly. I use it for little dance videos. And now the first unit, the first tailgater I had, I was using it for a little dance uh, practice and stuff like that. I was teaching hip hop class and stuff. So it's good for, it's excellent for that. Just little parties and stuff at my house, you know, bring it to the beach, kick back. Perfect, perfect, perfect amount of sound for the beach, you know. Um, Hell, even a JBL speaker, which I should do a purchase update of next, you know, even that little bad boy is good for the beach. So if that's good for the beach, then of course the tailgater would be good for the beach. I did lose the microphone that came with it like as soon as I, pretty much almost as soon as I put the stuff away, I guess. I don't know because I haven't seen it ever since I did the unboxing of it. Speaking of mics, the only thing that sucks compared to this one versus the old one is that this one it has one mic input, the, un the other one had two. So... But I still recommend getting this one. The other one didn't have didn't have freaking um, Bluetooth. This one does. So, and I had to actually think about it right now for a second because it's kind of weird that now that I'm so used to using Bluetooth with this uh, unit, it's so weird that the other one didn't have Bluetooth. I kind of did. Wait, did the other one have Bluetooth? They gotta have Bluetooth. Ain't nowhere in the world I was using that thing without Bluetooth. I probably was. That's kind of weird. I don't know. So pretty much in the B-roll, I'm just showing you guys the cosmetics and stuff 
the scrapes and stuff it has on it from you know the last past year and a half to two years of me having this unit of course i'm gonna pop the exact date up on the screen right now with me recording this i don't know how long i've had the unit um but yeah you just got little light light dings and stuff like that the little corner uh caps does a good job at you know doing its job and um yeah i had this thing outside on the ground rugged and everything and as you can see it's been doing a good job that hard plastic does a very good job and you know the unit's been holding together itself very well the whole thing is made out of made out of metal wood and plastic you know a mixture of all those combinations and of course some wires and circuit boards and you know a little bit of battery mixes out that bad boy and you got your whole little speaker you know what i'm saying so with that being said it's been emily on the film thank you guys for watching this purchase update of the ion tailgater um if you plan on picking this bad boy up it's very worth the worth the buy especially compared to the last unit because i brought broke both of them for the same price so like i said the price tag on this one is pretty much a steal in my eyes because i brought the last one for this price tag and this one is a big ass step when it comes to the battery life, Bluetooth, even a little cradle on top of the speaker that, that you can set stuff inside of. The other one didn't have nothing like that. It was just flat on top. So you couldn't really, you know, place nothing right there. So it was little things they thought about. But the last one had an iPod dock. This one doesn't. But who, who uses those old ass iPods anymore? I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, actually, you know what? I take that back. A lot of people still do, you know, but you know. so like I said, thank you guys for watching this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you loved it. Peace.